the priest is equivalent to a psychiatrist. Uh, it's a concept designer. It uh, allows the mind to visualize many things. Uh, concepts, of course, are created in the mind. They don't exist. And, um, for example, a priest will tell you you were born a sinner. You bad boy, you. Bad boy is a concept. Boy is a concept. Bad is a concept. And what they're doing is they're selling you concepts so you could buy the right to be. If they call you a bad boy, you grow up to earn the right to be. You never realize who you are. You're never never able to be because you're seeking you. And what did Jesus say about coveting? That's the only sin is wanting to be. That means you're empty and able to be filled up with various constitutions as the priest tells you what you consist of. Bad boy, bad girl, bad parent, bad neighbor. These things are concepts sold to you by the law merchant. This is what the Lord God is. It's the other daddy. The thing you're not supposed to be patronizing or calling father. From the reporter online, Dot com Saint stands priest arrested charged with indecent assault and harassment and this is on January 17th a priest at Saint Stanislaus Roman Catholic Church was arrested Friday and charged with misdemeanor indecent assault without consent and summary harassment in connection with an incident that occurred on December 15 2013 that was a quick return Father John H. Robach, 64, parochial vicar at the church, was arraigned Friday afternoon before District Judge Albert Augustine of Shibak, who set bail at $50,000 unsecured. Details of the criminal complaint were not immediately available. Lansdale police could not be reached for comment Friday evening. Thankfully, we're seeing the Lord God be held accountable. And this is what has to occur in the revelation or revealing them. They are being revealed right before your eyes. As these things are made evident and revealed and you realize what is written in their book or you're able to open the book, that's when your wrath is made known. Now, if you have a priest translate this or a priest interpret the Bible for you, he's going to keep telling you to keep on waiting. Keep sitting there praying for Jesus, which means your earth. And as you sit there, the priest is going to be out nailing your daughter, nailing your son, nailing your wife. We've had incidents of adultery with married females and, and priests. And in one of them, the priest ran right down to the court to restrain the husband when he found out. I mean, that's like <laughs> something else. He ran right to the court. And that's what they do. Their function is to rape your children. Nail your wife. Take your wife off of you. Let her do the restraining. Let's go make some false allegations, honey, and we'll cash in on this estate. And, of course, she never gets anything. She's just a puppet. It's all taken by the court process. Now, the bishop is the one who lays down these bonds on you. You're thinking that your church is the place to run when the court is preying on you. The church and the court are the same thing. The church and the state are the same thing. And you put your trust in that thing and call it Father, and it's preying on you from one end to the other. Part of fourth generation warfare 
is the creation of concepts, calling you that bad boy. It's the same thing that they wrote down in Exodus. That word exo means outside of. And do stems from the word God. Exodus means outside of God. And when a judge comes down from a hill and tells everybody that they're killing each other and stealing each other's wives and asses, and then offers to protect you from that, the book is called Outside of God. That means if you want to be outside of God, go ahead and patronize that judge. Don't patronize yourself, God. Don't take responsibility or authority over your earth, God. Don't patronize your own house, God. We got something else to show. We got something else to sell you. Adam, we're going to call you man now. Adam, the, the word Adam, the etymology means man, literally. So I, the judge, I'm, I'm going to start calling you man. And you're going to buy this concept. You're going to say, yep, I'm a man, I'm a woman. And the Lord God created me. It says right there in a biogenesis. Genesis is short for the doctrine of a biogenesis. A uh, meaning away from. Bio meaning life. Gen meaning mind and soul. And as this of course means the action of. Genesis means away from life, mind and soul. So you, God, were fed concepts and moved away from you, God, outside of God. And attorneys and psychiatrists and judges started killing your kids and your wives, stealing from your neighbor and pointing the finger at you or your neighbor. And they started teaching you that you and your neighbor is bad. And then you and your brown neighbor is bad. And then you and your black neighbor is bad. And then you and your red neighbor is bad. And you and your Christian neighbor is bad. And you and your Zion neighbor is bad. And you and your Muslim neighbor is bad. And you and your teacher neighbor is bad. And you and your judge neighbor, or sorry, not judge. <laughs> it went too far there. But hopefully you see the point. I mean, the only way to talk you out of being God or walk you away from being God is to teach you that you're not. 